Now, now that you have your recording completely finished, what can you do? Well, you know, I can render a WAV file and burn a CD. You know, let's say our church is, you know, doing a, uh, a worship CD or a Christmas CD or something like that. We want to render a, a final CD master and duplicate it, okay? But there's another really great software that we've now included in, in, uh, in the box, and it's called Nimbit. Now, what is Nimbit? Nimbit is a web music distribution platform uh, that Pre Personas actually acquired this company. They're based out of Boston. And there's some really cool tools, actually, that we've now found in talking to a lot of churches uh, that they can use some of these tools as well to not only get their music out and being able to distribute their music, sell their music, but also to get sermons out on their website, on their Facebook page, and that kind of a thing as well. And obviously you're not going to sell sermons, but you can basically have them available for people to download. They can share them. So it's, 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 it's an entire um, application. And not only does it give you a web store, it gives you a Facebook store as well. Now, why is that important? Well, you know, young people especially, but I would say a lot of people, uh, go to Facebook. So, you know, they, they will be on Facebook and it's, it's, it's an easier uh, place to reach people socially in many ways. So, uh, especially young people. And, and, and so if somebody hears a sermon and really likes it, they can share it very easily on Facebook with all of their friends. And so I'm going to show you a little bit of that in a second. But the, the other thing that's really cool about Nimbit is that, you know, whether you're going to sell music or whether you're going to you know, just give away sermons or anything like that. You also have an option in uh, Nimbit to even take donations directly from Nimbit. Um, and so it's, it's a great thing. So, you know, people can actually um, donate and then essentially Nimbit will pay you once a month every 30 days via PayPal. And so anything you sell on Nimbit or anything that somebody donates, um, you know, essentially... Nimbit takes care of all of that processing, uh, you know, credit card processing, all of that stuff. So let me just show you how we're going to get from Studio One to Nimbit. So whether this was a sermon or whether this was a song, if I want to get out of Studio One and get into Nimbit so that I can distribute it, all I have to do is go up here to the song tab on the top and hit export mix down. And then right here, you see where it says publishing? I can, right here, upload to Nimbit, okay? And so basically what this does is once you've created an account in Nimbit, um, it will basically take you to your Nimbit store, which looks kind of like this, okay? So this is, uh, this is kind of the back end of the Nimbit store that the Ring Community Church has created. And, you know, you can kind of look through different products that they have. And, uh, you know, a product can be anything. It can be one particular file, like one sermon, or it could be a collection of sermons, or it could be one song or a collection of songs. So you can set up products in Nimbit. Uh, now, for this particular song, as you can see, um, we just called it special. You can upload uh, artwork right here. And this artwork, when somebody downloads it to their phone, will show up as cover art. So it's automatically on there. Uh, right here we can choose whether we want to uh, sell the album or give it away. So right now we just have it to, to, to be given away. But see right here we can hit this edit and we can, you know, let's say we wanted to sell this song for 99 cents or we can give it away for free. Or a new thing that people love doing these days is name your own price. Uh, this is really effective, uh, especially when it comes to giving music away. Um, there's a lot of bands that have done this recently uh, where, you know, they'll just say name your own price and some people will give a penny and some people will give a thousand bucks. I mean, it's, you know, it's just, it's, it's whatever and it's a really cool, cool way. Or you can put it not for sale and people can basically just stream the music and listen to it. So let's just give away this song for free, essentially, and we hit apply, okay? And now let's go to The Ring's actual Facebook page, and let me show you what this is going to look like. So, so this is their Facebook page. This is the song that we just created. I mean, from this application right here, I can actually stream 
and listen to the, uh, the, the actual song. And look at this. I can actually share it right here with my friends on Facebook or on Twitter. Okay. Um, oops. We're having a little uh, network connection problem here. Um, but, you know, as, as you can see, and y- you can see they, they've put up several different uh, items. Like here's their, all of their October sermons. And so if somebody likes this sermon or, or they want to share this sermon, they can, you know, hit this little share button and share it with all of their friends on Facebook. And then the other thing is, is if somebody downloads this sermon uh, for free, this is where, this is pretty cool. You can actually um, basically donate to the church right here. Now, you know, the, 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 uh, the, this is an option. So if you don't want to take donations on Nimbit, you don't have to. You can just strictly make it a place where people can download the sermon or download your music for free. But, you know, if, if you do have, um, you know, the ability to do a, uh, or, or the desire to do a worship CD or do a, a Christmas CD or something that you do want to actually sell, Nimbit is a great platform. You don't have to worry about you know, duplicating CDs. But what's, what's really cool is, is that Nimbit has, um, there's two versions. There's a, the free version, which I've shown you, but there's also what we call Nimbit Plus. Nimbit Plus actually allows you to sell both physical merchandise and digital merchandise. So you could have physical CDs for sale as well as digital downloads for sale, as well as t-shirts for the church for sale or whatever. And so there's actually a warehouse in Boston that holds all of the inventory for you and ships it off for you. You don't have to deal with any of that. Uh, Nimbit takes 15% uh, as, a, as a fee for, uh, you know, handling the transactions, uh, which, is, which is actually quite affordable if you start looking at, you know, iTunes takes 30% per percent when, you, when you put, you know, um, a song up on iTunes for sale. So it's a really great, um, you know, way to get your, your, your music out there. Now, if you do a worship CD, you definitely want to, it d- you know, Nimbit doesn't necessarily replace iTunes. You still probably want to be on iTunes as well, just because a lot of people use iTunes. But Nimbit is, is, a, is a great platform, and it, and it allows you to really kind of have the final piece of that puzzle to distribute your music or distribute your sermons um, all within Studio One Artists. I didn't even have to leave the software. I mean, I can edit my sermon and upload it to, to Nimbit, and there it sits. And the, the, the beauty of this is, is that I, I just showed you the one store, the Facebook store, but you can also put Nimbit stores on your church website. Um, you can also put it on uh, there's actually, if, if, if your church doesn't have a website, there's actually, Nimbit actually ha- hosts a site for you. So you could actually have a place where people could buy music or download sermons, you know, for free uh, on the nimbitmusic.com uh, site. So that's another thing for you guys to definitely check out. But that kind of like wraps up the whole package. Music.